Hello internet, CJ here with you again with another rough and ready video because I haven't got around to building my fancy new uh, video editing rig yet, or PC yet. But um, today we're going to be lapping a water block, lapping a CPU water block. I've got this um, Swiftec Apogee XT CPU block um, that I've actually got a, a member interested in buying, a member of a forum that I'm a member of, so... They're interested in, in buying, taking that off my hands. I've actually got two of these um, Apogee XTs, as you can see by the two bases here. You see the micro fin structure. So the idea is that basically the, the water jets down through this intake here. And you can have the intake plate situated that way, or if you need a bit more spacing for your fittings, you can have it placed that way. Um, it jets down through that central hole there and there's an o-ring as you can see around there And you can see the imprint of the o-ring on the fin structure there So the water jets down and then spreads out through those micro channels and flows back out the uh, the outlet here uh, Which gives you really really good cooling performance. It's it's it wasn't a super expensive water block back in the day. These were about uh, 70 or 80 US bucks, I think, back in the day. I think this they cost me cost about 150 dollars shipped, Australian dollars. But as I say, I've got two of them here, and they're they're a bit old. They're a bit, you know, the the bases are still pretty polished. You can see, but they're a bit worse for wear. Um, so basically, before I sell this one, I'm keeping another one for my my own use uh, in my new build. But before we sell the other one off. I'm going to basically give them a bit of a lap and polish so that my uh, fellow member gets a good, a nice, clean, tidy, polished up water block for his for his build. So what I've got basically, now for, <laughs> I used to have a piece of float glass, uh, standard window glass, um, fl you know, uh, float glass, called so called because they spread the glass out on top of a, you know, like a spread out in a thin sheet. And, and let it basically level itself, level itself out. So float glass is typically a pretty good uh, underlying surface to lap a block on because it's it's quite level and, and, and straight. Um, don't know where that's gone. I'm pretty, probably got broken somewhere along the way in a house move or something. So the next best thing that I was able to find is this decorative mirror here, which again, you're going to assume is a pretty nice flat surface. So I've got some, I'm actually starting off with some 400 grit titanium oxide paper which is probably a little bit extreme to be honest because these are already not too bad but they do have some fairly deep scratches so I'm going to start right back at 400 grit and then we're going to go up from there to some 800 grit and some 1000 grit wet and dry paper that I've got some off here and we're going to do that on each of these blocks individually take them through 400 up to 800 and then 1000 and then what I'm actually going to do to get a final flat lapped finish is we're going to pop one block like that and we're going to get some put, put some Autosol made in Germany uh, polishing compounds on the one and so it takes the other and we actually lap the two over each other and then we flip them over, we replace the co compound and we, and we repeat. And so that process, that's actually sort of the basis of, of how we got to final uh, precision of flatness in the early days of engineering is by basically you, you lap two surfaces as flat as you can get and then you lap those two surfaces against each other and by the time you finish with that process, your variation in, in flatness is going to be next to unmeasurable. You know, you're down into microns at that point, so... So that's the idea, and uh, I'm going to do that. I'll record. I really wish I could edit some stuff together just to put this all in one video, but basically this is an intro. I'm going to do another one that's actually showing the, the process of how you do this lapping, and then I might do a final one showing how I lap the two against each other and uh, and the final result from there. One of these days I will have a PC that lets me put all of this stuff into one single video editor together. So you won't have to look through three <laughs> bloody videos to, to see the end result. But anyway, if you're interested, follow along and there'll be more coming shortly. Okay, cheers guys. 